It's going to be a fun trip. Hey guys, it's Chris. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I just wanted to share something a little different for the channel. This is what I've been obsessing over for probably the past six months in my free time. That is Evil Dead The Game. Launched back in May of this year from Saber, and I've mostly been playing solo queue Survivor for this past six months, but recently, about the past week and a half, I wanted to take the demon for a test drive. I've been intimidated by it because the learning curve is super steep, at least for me. So I uh, just wanted to kind of talk you through some of what you can expect and how much fun it is to play. So without any further ado. So when you play Demon, uh, currently there are four demons in the game. You can play the Plague Bringer, which is the witch, or is how Ash dubs her in Army of Darkness, the she-bitch. There she is. You can also play as the Warlord, which is Henrietta from Evil Dead. You can play as Elagos, the puppeteer from Ash vs. Evil Dead, the series. And currently I am rocking Evil Ash also from Army of Darkness, he is the Necromancer. So, um, I'll just kind of explain what's going on because there's a lot happening on the game and I'll try not to talk over it too much so you can just enjoy how cool the graphics are and if you're a true fan of the series, there's something in here for everybody. So on these title screens, what you can see is it's going to be explaining uh, what Evil Ash's powers are that I can hopefully build up enough Infernal Energy to, switching over to see uh, what players, what platforms they're on. Switching back, and that countdown clock in the upper left is just uh, waiting for those four um, survivors to pick their characters, and the match will get underway. So as I build Infernal Energy across the bottom, you'll be noticing it's kind of like a gas tank or a currency. I'm picking up glowing red orbs and then I'm constantly putting them, spending them on setting traps, possessing cars, trees, other survivors, other deadites. There's a lot going on, so I'll try to just, uh, just let it unfold and kind of explain what's happening bit by bit. The artwork on these loading screens, incredible. The animated chainsaw for the loading screen has a nice extra touch as well. Hopefully in the future I'll do a similar video going over the survivors and what they go through and what their gameplay experience is like. But for now, let's uh, let's roll with the demon. I come to you so these are those glowing red orbs I'm telling you about. It's the infernal life. energy. It is what Join I am. The progress bar across the, the bottom. I have a couple of different abilities. The three in the middle are currently locked. So I'm trying to earn enough threat points or threat level uh, down in the lower right hand corner to unlock these the extra abilities. What I'm doing right now is I'm just setting traps. Hopefully the survivors will come through this area. I don't like to spend too much time in one area before I find them. Uh, if they're being very quiet, they're very difficult to find, so you kind of just have to float around the map and hope you run into them. Ways survivors can mess up early game is firing a weapon that will alert me to their location as well as getting in a car and driving, that will also alert me to where they are. It, when and if that happens, I stop what I'm doing, typically in a normal gameplay, and I head right for that area and try to just apply pressure early. So I just brought up my large map and I just set a waypoint. I'm going to go over to one of my favorite areas to trap because inevitably the survivors end up there. Not always, but a lot of times and there's lots of corners and traps and places to get them in a pinch. If you're a fan of the Evil Dead series, you'll recognize the super cool Sam Raimi sweeping flying low demon motion across the map. And if you're any bit motion sickness, then yeah, you'll get dizzy until you get uh, handle on the controls. So when there are threat level points to spend in the lower right hand corner then I can apply them to having more infernal energy more often. I can start to set proximity traps. I can also buff up how many deadites come out of those traps. 
as well as a few other things. Possession stream. Forget the other one. So there, this is the largest map in the game, comparable to the castle map. But I just wrecked that car, possessed and wrecked it, to give them a little fewer options to scoot across the map quickly later in the game. These Broncos are a beast to flip, so I consider myself lucky if I can get those destroyed early. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. I tend to stay mostly in the center of the map. If I don't find them or see them after two to three minutes, then I will start uh, branching out. Their progress bar is across the top, so it's kind of a race to the right. Um, they've found one of three map pieces. Once they find all three map pieces, the pages of the Necronomicon as well as Kendarian Dagger will be revealed to them. Those are two objectives that they have to go defend, and that is where most of the battle takes place. Once those are achieved, they will go battle the Dark Ones and then reveal the Necronomicon, and then it's a fight for me to destroy it or them to defend it. So we run into Ed Bagley. Ed Bagley. Ed Needley? Nearly? Let's just call him Ed. I forget his name. It is not Ed Bagley. That's an actor from the 80s. Okay, so I've scared Ed, Ed with a possession a demon dash, and now I can control him for a little bit. He almost got that second map piece. I'm just going to bring him back downstairs, give me a little love tap, and let him know that I'm here and I'm possessed. He is back amongst the living. So it looks like the team we've got is a Warrior Ash from Army of Darkness. And then we've got Cheryl from the original Evil Dead. She is a support character, which means she's like a healer. So her energy's low or anyone on the team, she can drink a Shimps, which is the, the health, and it will revive everyone that's within her aura. And then uh, we've got Ed the Hunter, which is uh, the distance or the rifle the range range fighter. So it's a pretty solid team. Anytime there's a healer on the team, they're much weaker than the warriors, but they can help out a lot. So there's a, those are the ones you usually like to target. And then the hunters are usually a little squishy too as far as melee combat. So I'm still going around. As long as they're here, I'm just going to try to keep picking up infernal energy and setting traps. He totally got past that one. I want to possess this car, but as you'll see at the bottom, I have no infernal energy. So I'm going to go across the bottom. I'll go across the map and pick up some more glowing red orbs like that. They're doing a pretty quick rush on the map pieces, so they're playing aggressive, so I'm hoping by the time we get to the objectives that I'll be able to put up a good fight. And another car is destroyed. You've disappointed us. Don't do it again. Mia. I'm sweeping around, looking for more orbs. Again, I would love to be able to possess that car, but it's not happening. So a lot of times, if you just follow the car, whoops, maybe she wrecked it on herself follow the car it will lead you to the other survivors unless they are a four stack and they're in heavy communication and they can actually try to run me off in an opposite direction while they go towards the pages or the map piece they've got all three map pieces so they're heading towards the objective sorry um, it looks like they are heading for the pages so this will be interesting. Now I can possess her car. Try to get it away from her. her walk. There's Ed. It's like at least half the gang is here, so hopefully we can get a little bit of combat. Possessing the car is fun, but it's wasting infernal energy, so I probably need to dip out. Okay, let's see if we can get some combat. Gameplay loop is a lot of fun because things that you do early in the game can come back to help or hurt you way later in the game. So you can set a trap at the very beginning and they may not run into it at the end and it can make or break the entire game, so it's a lot of fun.
when a car is in motion, it goes as fast as you do, so you have no, pretty much no chance of catching the car unless they run into an object or fall in a ditch, like so. Um, you can try to head them off at the pass sometimes and cut through fields where the, if they're staying on the roads, but it's always just a guessing game. Okay, this is Warrior Ash heading for the objective. I'm going to try to get there beforehand and set up a couple of traps. Mia's already there, it looks like. So I'm going to go see if I can apply a little pressure and make it interesting. Once they start that objective, there'll be a blue aura around it that they have to stay in to keep the um, progression going. So, you'll see once they set it off, there'll be a bit of a blue circle that they have to stay in. So obviously one strategy would be if there's only one of them, is to possess them and then run them out of the circle and they'll have to come restart it. So I'm kind of hanging close, but I don't have a lot of energy. So yeah, she's going to get this one off. And I'm just going to try to go collect more orbs and wait for the rest of the people to get here. There are some AI deadites that hang around that you can also possess. As well as, uh, I should be able to set some proximity uh, traps here as well. Once I've upgraded. These are traps I'm just setting for later, hoping they'll run into them. But there's that blue aura I was talking about. There's Mia being cocky, going through looking for loot when she should be defending the dagger, but that's okay, because now I can possess Ash with a demon dash. Didn't mean for that to run. So now he's red, which means I can possess him. Cheryl's here. I'm going to go for Cheryl. Turn on your team. I'm try to just inflict damage. I'm try to get them to use resources is what the early combat is mostly about. Okay, let's me going through upgrading various perks. I'm possessed the skeleton here. He usually does some good strong damage. I beg the junior or whatever I called him earlier. He was on the run. But he's a little squishy, not very strong. Once a trap has been exposed, you can reset it a little bit later, so that's what that was. Someone had already set that up. Okay, there I launched uh, my flute player. He buffs all of my current skeletons. They'll have a red aura over their head, which means they're a lot stronger. Here's the boss, Evil Ash. He's made an appearance. He's very weak right now. I think I have enough maybe as one. Well. It's one out of five. You can't unlock him until level 10, so I just wanted to launch him so they know that... I mean, this <laughs> it's always pretty intimidating when he shows up because he can start swinging and he can um, pull energy from you. He'll do kind of like a choke and he will take energy from you, which gives it to him. It keeps him in the game longer. They made quick work of him though, so they obviously know what they're doing. I haven't got a full grasp on controlling those skeletons. I just go kind of wild ass when I got them possessed. They do that. I got them possessed. One thing is with your hunter, and you possess them, and they still have their firearms, you want to use their weapons because they're usually very strong. Their guns are as well. Just like for the warriors, when you attack them, you want to use their melee weapons for close combat to inflict the most damage on your teammates. Okay, so once they complete an objective, I get banished, right? Like 400 plus yard meters, whatever it is, whatever the measurement is, away from that objective. So right before I get banished, I can tell they're almost done, I'll set a waypoint. Once I get back to wherever it took me to, I just head right back to where they were and uh, again try to tighten the screws. Most good teams, they will get out of there, they won't lollygag, hang around and loot. They will just hop in a car and haul ass towards the next objective. Next objective. So that means for me, I've got to try to play defense and slow them down. So here comes, looks like Mia trying to be a hero. So I'm going to cut her off early. 
just give her a little scare, make her go in a different direction. Dump her back down in there with the rest of the gang. Take a few shots. It's super important to keep an, one eye on that mini map in the upper left hand corner because before you know it, they'll be gone if you're hyper focused on one person. You can look up and the rest of the team is halfway across the map. Support Cheryl inflicting damage on her own team because I got her possessed. And then they knocked her out. So I don't have much infernal energy right now. I kind of wasted it on that last possession. Didn't waste it, but used it, I guess, on that last possession. Here's what I'm talking about. I'm over here super concerned about this car. And they're like, whatever, dude, they've left on foot like 25 seconds ago. So I'm so not paying attention. Um, that was ridiculous, too, that I dropped my flute there. It doesn't matter because on the cooldown, I can't remember what the cooldown is, like 90 or 100 seconds. And I won't see them again for that long, but it was just silly. That's me mashing buttons, which is about 50% of my gameplay. So now I don't have a waypoint set, but I'm using that um, Necronomicon's page icon. That kind of white rectangle thing with the blue aura around it. And then you can see the survivors are in yellow when they're close by. So letting Cheryl know I'm here. They can hear me. They can't see me when I'm in the spirit form. They can hear growling. And Evil Ash is back. <laughs> this is that one area I was um, setting traps earlier, so it kind of works to my advantage. They tried to run through here and loot. And here they're trying to just keep, they're trying to push me into this closet. Which is actually a demon move. Usually the demons can trap you in there and make quick work of you. So again, my evil ash is not fully upgraded, so they his balance bar is low. They can, you know, if they concentrate, they can knock him off pretty fast. But I keep slowly getting him stronger. This is a good place for the skeleton in the bathroom. You just set that trap. I'm waiting for my cooldown. The lower left diamond, and there's a skeleton. So again, that buffs all the other skeletons. They'll have a red aura around their head, and just makes them stronger. They take, inflict more damage, and they can handle more attacks. So it looks like they're kind of looting between these two houses. Mia again, the hero, or thinks she's the hero. I'm gonna possess her and say no. Turn her around. Try to get her to go mess with her. And so you'll see while she's possessed my infernal energy is draining depending on how many points I have into possession that'll last a lot longer but with necromancer I don't spend a lot of spirit points on possession I just don't I spend them on my traps and on my boss and on more infernal energy having it appear more often and as playing a survivor for the past six months super frustrating to get constantly possessed over and over and over with your team like I'm doing right now so once I sort of understood the controls for demon I just my gameplay was what do I hate that the demon does to me most and then I just embraced it leaned into it and that's basically what I'm doing everything that I can't stand that the demon does to me as a survivor just constantly staying on them just tighten the screws possessing their car, taking it away from them, at least try to get it going in the other direction so they're not tempted to come back and get it. Feeling that motion sickness yet? <laughs> this isn't just light, it's illumination conjured by... There are some really good demon players that uh, with different demons, it's all different gameplays, different demons. But uh, they go for the quick kills and knockdowns like early on, even before the map pieces are found. I try to play the long game. I just, once I find them, I stay with them, slowly build up my stuff, patience, patience, and then hopefully by the last objective is where I do the most of my damage. Um, and then get, again, get them to waste those valuable resources, like their shields, their health. Coming. 
I don't get this one guy who keeps <laughs> he keeps turning his flashlight on. I understand, like in theory, it's a good idea. Like he's like, I'm blinding the demon so he can't see me. But I just head right into the light and I know he's in the general direction. So it's not really smart. Plus you only have a limited amount of battery life. His character does have a longer flashlight battery than everybody else, but it's just silly he keeps doing that. I noticed it throughout the gameplay that he keeps turning on his flashlight and it doesn't really, doesn't help him. I don't know, maybe it makes him feel better. I'm to possess, I'm sorry, Demon Dash Cheryl. Possess Mr. Skeleton. See, again, I'm really wonky with the controls sometimes. I don't... Like the effort is there, but I don't really know how I can move efficiently. And then if you do have anything possessed, a car, demon, survivor, if you ever kind of stuck and you're not really going anywhere, you can always pick out early and save some of that thermal energy points. If you're a fan of Ash vs. Evil Dead the series, you'll love these maps. They're very accurate to the settings in Michigan. And uh, the Castle Kandor map, I will try to share a video of that soon as well. That is a really cool map. It's super huge. Army of Darkness all the way. They seem to be focusing on, mostly on Army of Darkness content for Season 1. Um, I think they finished up Season 1 pretty much with this last um, drop. But Season 2, as I've heard, will have a lot more Ash vs. Evil Dead stuff, more cosmetic changes where you can finally change Pablo's outfit, Kelly's outfit, um, stuff like that. So you can find mass hysteria, so much going on, I try to get to confusion. There's many skeletons and units on the ground. I saw Body Blash in again and make quick work of him, but what's happening is as I possess Deadites or other survivors, I'm building more energy and I'm upgrading Evil Ash so he'll be hyper strong by the end. So that blue progression shows you they're almost done with the pages. That's usually where I don't like how many shields that it looks like that Mia has, so I'm trying to wipe all that out. And I see Cheryl who's been using some heals to keep her power up, so hoping she doesn't have too many left. That was on purpose. I dropped that skeleton close to try to get their attention away from the dead eye. Ash is possessed. He dropped his weapon. That's a smart move by survivors. You drop, if you're a hunter, drop your gun. If you're, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you're a hunter, drop your gun. If you're a warrior, drop your melee weapon. Then that way all you're doing is like punching. <clears throat> You're punching it's them, it's working. not very strong. So, again, I got banished, but I didn't forget to set my waypoint. And, like I said, the next step will be for the, the heroes or the survivors to attack the Dark Ones. But, I try to make that not happen. So, I'll sit back and let y'all watch a little bit more of this gameplay and I'll try to talk a little less. Most of it's going to go down in the bottom floor of this house. This is the way. resurrect them or revive them for a short amount of time but there's no way they're getting to her back in that corner I've got them stuck in this door like they're selling me 
solar unwanted solar service or something? No like, oh, way. Got another down. Here's Mr. Ash. He's gonna be super cool. He gets a flashlight cooking when I pick him up. Too school for cool. Get off, she's trying to <laughs> she's trying to revive him, but he's not working out well. When it shows those spirits like that, your spirit can also be recovered. You see it kind of swooped. It, it says soul being carried now, so he is going to attempt poorly to take those souls to an altar where they can also be released. Now if you'll notice on the left side of the mini-map, the dark red uh, circle that's coming in, it's sort of like a, a Fortnite, I guess. There's like that storm where it forces you towards the middle of the screen, the end game, the screen. So you can't just run around the map for you know, 24 hours. So this is forcing them in the direction of the final battle. But what I'm trying to do is keep him towards the storm. So Mr. Fancy Ash, I run him into the storm in approximately nine, and he's dust. He's dust. So now when it's down to one player, I've never seen a single survivor win a game from this point or any point. So this is just fucking what they're now, sadly. And what's funny is she gets distracted by trying to loot or whatever. I'm not sure what she's doing when she climbs up on the second floor of this structure. But I'm, what I do know is she's not paying attention to that storm. So I think for a second she's considering going back and getting him. Oh no, I was possessing her and trying to get her into run into that mine. She cannot go back into the storm and get him. That was me possessing her. So again, she's the if I could give you one word of advice in this game as a survivor, don't engage the demon. Whether you're surrounded, one, whatever, run. <laughs> because all it does is make him stronger and slows you down on at any chance of winning the game. So the storm is super close to her now. I think she comes up on the second floor of the structure. Like I said, I'm just floating around gathering energy, kind of effing with her. But uh, once I see her go up on the stairs, She's not paying attention to where the storm is, which is super funny. So I'm like, um, she's pretty much dead, so I'm just going to fly off. Anyway, I think this is a really fun game. I hope you enjoyed watching this short gameplay. I will try to play a few other demons and share some of that gameplay, and as well as some survivors, just to get some more content on the channel that's interesting and uh, I appreciate you watching this uh, please like subscribe share and uh, let me know what you think let me know if you're playing evil did the game it's actually free for like five days right now um, look at their Instagram it's like epic games or something like that sorry I'll try to drop a link in the description below um, but I appreciate you watching guys so uh, see you on the next one bye any more fun today, I don't think I'm going to be able to take it.